Now please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening. On behalf of the Guyman Board of Education and the Guyman Administration, we would like to welcome you to the 2018 high school commencement. I would like to introduce the guests that are on the stage. President of the board, Mike Ray. <laughs> board member, Carla Hernandez. <laughs> board member, Sally Hawkins. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent, Brett Ryder. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Testing, Dixie Purdy. High School Principal, Randy Williams. <laughs> Assistant Principal and Athletic Director, Andy Brown. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Laura Brooks. <laughs> and the Director of Alternative School, Jimmy Acevedo. <laughs> Congratulations on your accomplishments this year. This is the end of the first leg of your journey of life. The journey will be fun, exciting, sad, and challenging. I have a quote from Steve Jobs that states, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be tracked by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. What you need to do is you need to find something that you love to do and do it. Don't be afraid to take chances on something new. I had no idea what I wanted to do when I was sitting in your seat. I thought I wanted to go into banking, but you can tell I didn't go into banking. I went into education. Uh, I changed my uh, major my sophomore year and moved into history and did not regret it ever since then. I get to work with teachers and students and I really enjoy that. So don't be afraid to go after your dreams. And my last quote here would be from the great philosopher Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, <laughs> Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and not decide not to surrender, that is strength. So I just want to thank you and the parents for sharing your children with us for the last 12 years. So thank you and God bless America and God bless the class of 2018. Okay, on behalf of the Guyman School Board, I want to congratulate your class of 2018. You know, every year I've done this a couple times. I've tried to give it away, but I haven't got any of them convinced yet. But uh, I tell every class, hey, work hard to make a difference. And your class, of all the classes we've talked to lately, have really made a difference, not only in athletics, but academically, but by your involvement in Guyman High School. Mrs. Purdy says it's because she was your principal at one time. So it must have been a good effect. But here's a, just a few examples of what you guys have done. Back to back to back state champions, boys cross country. <laughs> state champions, one act play, two members in the all-star cast. State champion, boys individual golf. State champion in monologue. State champion in original oratory. Fourth place in the state speech and debate. You guys were state qualifiers in boys golf, girls golf, boys cross country, girls cross country, swim team. Regional champs in powerlifting. And in the Oklahoma State Tournament of Champions, first in the state for native Spanish speaker, and I think that was for the second time, right? Same person. First in the state in sociology. Top 10 in psychology, personal finance, and overall senior scholar. Top 10 for accounting and business. You guys even convinced the teachers to give you an extra 10 days of vacation that Mr. Melton did, forgot to tell us about.
But this class has been amazing. You should be proud of yourself. <clears throat> but tonight, I hate to tell you this, your life really starts over. You know, high school's fun, but from now on, you're, some of you are going to start on careers. Some of you will join the military and serve the country. Some of you are going to go to college, go to trade schools. But life gets a lot different. It's fun, but it's different. But I'd like to give you a couple words of advice as you start this journey. First, look behind you. Thank your family. Thank your parents. They sacrificed a lot to get you here. You know, it wasn't always easy, and they didn't waken you up. You're, you're probably like my kids. You didn't get out of bed very easy. Second, thank your teachers, even the ones you thought were too hard on you, like Mr. Patterson. You know, Guyman High School's blessed to have some of the best teachers in the world, and I'm amazed how much time and effort they spend and invest in you, our students. So thank them. And last, this is probably the best advice I can give you. Continue to make a difference wherever you go. Be positive in your approach to life. Be kind to others. And be accepting to others. But most of all, when you leave here, show the world what a diamond tiger can do. Be a difference maker. Thank you. One of the benefits of my job is I get to know each graduating class. Unlike Mr. Ray or Mr. Melton, who may know only a few students, I get to know each class's personality. Every child has a different personality, so does each class have its own personality. I've known for a long time I needed to write a speech for tonight, but keeping with the characteristics and personality of this class of 2018, <laughs> there's no sense of doing it early. <laughs> In fact, I had really good intentions of writing it last weekend, but this class would say never waste a weekend on homework. <laughs> this graduating class and I believe that writing speeches, research papers, portfolios, there's really no need to sit down and do the work. It'll be okay. <laughs> Everything will be fine. I was sitting back listening to these two men talk, and I realized something. I'm just like the class of 2018, and I'm standing up here, and I'm not prepared to give my major assignment. <laughs> so like the class, I start, to, I start to panic. But Mrs. Roberts, it's almost done. <laughs> or how many have used this one? This is my favorite one. My printer wouldn't work. Can I bring it tomorrow <laughs> or next week? No, wait, I figured it out. Mr. Ray, your speech was really great. Can I just reread your speech? <laughs> now, this class actually knows very well, they know it very, very well, that plagiarism is something you absolutely better not be caught doing. Consequences of plagiarism is a whole lot worse than doing nothing at all. Right, class? Yeah. High school teachers only have to sacrifice one or two students each year for all students to learn that lesson, and they learn it well. Parents and grandparents, forgive me for talking about your precious little ones this way. I love this class. This isn't just about homework, but it's also about fun stuff like planning parties, getting stuff ready for a pep rally. They think things will just get done. I don't understand them, but I love this wonderful, beautiful class of 2018. Thank you. Seniors, you've truly been fun. You have a lot of great qualities. Mr. Ray mentioned those, some of those, not near all of the great qualities that you have. But being like you, I'm never going to get around to telling you all your qualities. <laughs> I've enjoyed the class the last four years getting to know you. May God truly bless you in all that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now is the time I get to give a special recognition to some of our graduating class. Academically, these are the top 20% of the class of 2018. I made that mistake yesterday. Which, by the way, is the largest graduating class in the history of Guyman High School. <laughs> With 185 seniors who are supposed to graduate. 
Honor graduates, when I call your name, please come forward and Mrs. Brooks will give the certificate to you. Rachel Sanchez Delgado. Cambrian Acevedo. Henry Juarez. Mari Gibber Criscos. I think I got it right. Close. Kendall Cadell. Corby Jenkins. Lupita Jimenez. Adriana Chavez. Estella Ordonez. Adriana Romero. Jonathan Perez. Gabby Ramos. Avery Curtis. Mimi Estrella. Peyton Bowers. Alex Curtis. Catherine Bayless. Eric Guerrero. Alexis Bishop. Grayson Wallace. Alicia Morales. Yanis Morales. Emily Alcoser. Macy Hawthorne. Shayla Eastland. Katie Kamig. Kiana Aguilar. Tanner Jones. Maribel Esquivel. Janet Kalel. Magali de Santiago. These next eight are valedictorians. In order to be a valedictorian guy in high school, you have to have a 4.30 average. First valedictorian is Candace Booth. Benjamin Duran. Daisy Salcedo.
Mackenzie Landis. <laughs> Bryce Bagley. <laughs> Larissa Salinas. Audra Messenger. And Shalay Tyree. These are our eight valedictorians. Give them a hand, please. Well, I bet you're all wondering why I gathered you here today. <laughs> I'm Bryce Bagley, and tonight I will explain in high school to all of you. Friends, family, administrators, and classmates, welcome. Class of 2018, we are here to receive a booklet that says we can go to the school on Thursday and pick up our glorified piece of paper. <laughs> Over the past four years, each one of us has changed immensely. We went from high man on the totem pole to the lowest face. Yes, you heard that correctly, because according to Native American beliefs, the lowest face is to be more respected, and you thought school was over. <laughs> From the day we walked into GHS, we were eager to be in charge, to not have anyone above us to boss us around. We earned and struggled our way to the top, and it only lasted about a year. So get used to getting bossed around for the rest of your life. <laughs> High school is a perfect example of how time is relative. Each class period takes three hours, while the last semester of our high school career took about two weeks. Our late night adventures seem to last only a few seconds, while staying up until the same time doing homework we procrastinated on takes us into the year 2045. <laughs> we got two spring breaks this year, <laughs> which allowed me to procrastinate even more. One was overshined by baseball and soccer tournaments, and the other was for our teachers to fight for what they feel is deserving. At any rate, prom 2018 was more like a high school reunion. <laughs> Thank you, Ben Duran, for those kind words. The moments we enjoy are ever fleeting. They fly by. We must cherish the fun times while they last and look closer for the, for the things we love among the angst of our rebellious moments. As a whole, the class of 2018 is the sleepiest group of people I have ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Maybe we're just bored. Or maybe we just stayed up too late playing Fortnite, I mean doing homework. <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> no matter the distance of the bus ride, most of us have adapted to pass out however cruddy the road is. First hour may as well, may as well have been nap time, as well as the next six class periods. <laughs> Several of us even used concurrent classes to schedule school around our sleep habits. That's the greatest part about concurrent. I hope nobody in a position of authority mistook our sleepiness for laziness. <laughs> um, after all, we were all in it together. I'm sorry I had to get my high school musical plug in here somehow. Many students in our class have always been willing to do what it takes to accomplish something. Sometimes the bare minimum, but things get done. When it comes to helping others, however, we are a compassionate group, especially those in Stucco. We have put together fundraisers like Hat Days to help those in need when they have medical issues or say their house burned down. Even though these students we helped were sometimes underclassmen, we found a way to be compassionate. There are many different personalities in our class. Many of them are stereotypical, but each person is deeper than that. We have everybody from people that are over involved to people that have puns as names. <laughs> Um, we have timid people and we have savage people. It is impossible to represent all of us with any term or adjective, 
But those who know several students graduating this year, or are one, know that Guyman class of 2018 has its own connotation that can never be changed. Before I attempt to describe what each of us will do in the future, I am going to use a car as a metaphor for the high school experience. Each English teacher will probably argue that this is a simile, but everyone gets the point. This metaphor is not about any normal car. It is about a very special little green old Ford Mustang that I am very likely to have been seen hot, rod hot rodding around in. <laughs> Like this little old green Mustang, high school is fun. You get to crank up the music and enjoy an evening, or drive home, or a Saturday afternoon in the sun. However cool and loud and fast this car is, it is not always fun. Many hours of work have been put into this car, many trips to the shop, and quite a few breakdowns have occurred while driving this car. Sometimes it does not drive like it should, and you gotta just slam the dashboard and yell and scream and do whatever because you're angry at it. <laughs> just like this 1965 Mustang, high school has some fun, relaxing, memorable moments. But these moments are only possible because of all the maintenance, upgrades, and oil changes. We all encountered struggles and felt broken down, but eventually st somebody stops by on the side of the road and lends a helping hand. It is perfectly okay to have choice words at your mode of transportation, right? As we depart and go our separate ways into work, college, or something in between, we will be forever bonded. Not by friendships, teams, or classmates, but because we are all Guyman High School class of 2018. The path we are all on may take each of us to a different place. Some in our class may never, seen a, may never see, be seen again around here. As we use this wonderful education provided to us by Guyman Public Schools in whichever way is necessary, we go on a journey that leads us all over the world. Although we may end up scattered everywhere or stay right here in Guyman, we have some one thing in common. We are all Guyman High School class of 2018, something that binds us together forever. Now I'd like to thank a few people. Firstly, my mother for always being over-prepared um, second, to my father for always keeping me humble by usually just making fun of me. And third, I'd like to thank God for allowing us all to be here tonight and giving us all this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. My name is Larissa Salinas, and for those of you asking, yes, I am fluent in all three of those languages. Wow, I can't believe I am up here. I am the first in my family to do this, so this is a pretty big deal for me. On behalf of our class, we want to thank everyone for coming out tonight to celebrate this milestone. All the friends and family that came out here to support us, whether you traveled or are from here, we truly appreciate it. So here's the thing. GHS is truly blessed with some of the most caring faculty. Let me name a few and see if they sound familiar. Ms. Fankhauser, Mr. McIntyre, Mr. Hathcote, Ms. Gift, Madam Q, Ms. Roberts, Ms. Martin, Coach Brown, Mr. Williams, and of course our sweet Ms. Lagan. These are just a few of the many that have made my high school years some to remember. As a freshman, you would always hear the seniors say, Enjoy your first three years of high school because before you know it, it will be your last year. And I would always think, yeah, yeah, but boy were they right. If I could go back and just relive those first few years, I would do so in a heartbeat. You don't know how easy they are until you become a senior. To all those people that told me senior year was going to be easy, breezy, beautiful, and that I would just be chilling, you guys are liars. <laughs> Senior year was like that one scene in the Incredibles movie where Elastigirl, Violet, and Dash were on the plane and it crashed into the ocean and then the Dash was all like, we're dead, we're dead, we survived, but we're dead. <laughs> yeah, that basically sums up your last year. Well, at least it did for me. 
Like, okay, freshman, I don't want to hear about that one test you have this week when I have a research paper, a portfolio, an AP exam, college finals for concurrent, an entire book to read that, let's be honest, I probably won't start until the day before, or if I'm feeling risky, maybe just spark note, scholarships, and a bunch of other things do all on the same day or week. Now, on to my fellow classmates. If there is one thing about our class that stands out, it is probably the fact that we are very outspoken. Not only that, but once we set our mind on something, we don't stop until it is reached. We literally all grew up together, and now we're all about to part ways and move on to the next chapter of this crazy adventure that we call life. Not going to lie, we did get on each other's nerves, and you guys are really big pains, but for the majority, it was all fun and laughs. For me personally, senior year was the hardest. Things happened that you do not expect to, and I was not prepared for what life threw at me. For once, things in my life were not going out how I wanted them to. We have all gone through it, feeling like the universe is against us and one thing after another going wrong. Truth is, if you think about it, and I mean really think about it, this is the only life you get. So why waste it? If you don't take that chance or that risk now, then when? Believe me when I say I know things can and will get hard. C'est la vie. That's life. It is all about that support system you surround yourself. Which brings me to talk about the amazing people in my life that never gave up on me even when I wanted to give up on myself. My close friends and my McDonald's work crew, there are too many of you to name, but you guys know who you are. Thank you for being there when I needed a shoulder to cry on or someone to rant to. I apologize for the occasional 24-7 sass that is included in me. Ish, Kuryo. Thank you for helping me pass college algebra, for always backing me and always believing in me no matter how big my plans were. Christian, thank you for being the coolest uncle out there and not ratting me out to my parents. <laughs> my younger siblings, Carlos, thank you for being such a supportive brother in literally everything. Sorry not sorry for those times I would block the TV screen when you were playing Fortnite and hit you on the back of your head. Nina. You are literally the most annoying person ever. But you're my best friend. You have seen me at my worst and at my best and have been there through it all, ready to wipe away my tears or laugh about it all. Briyin, my little mini-me, thank you for always being able to make me laugh with your cute, spunky personality. Lastly, my parents. Mamá y papá, gracias por aceptarme por la persona que soy. Espero que yo haciendo esto los ha hecho orgullosos de mí y que he sido un buen ejemplo para mis hermanos. Todo lo que he hecho no lo pude hacer sin su apoyo y todo lo que hago, lo hago por ustedes. Son los más trabajadores que conozco y los mejores padres del mundo. Los quiero con todo mi corazón y nunca lo olviden. To my class of 2018, determination. That is what I see when I look at you. You all have it in you. Class of 2018, remember this. Besides the fact that we are one pretty awesome class, anything that you set your mind to is possible because of your hard work and determination. When you do accomplish your goal, because you will, then they will always say, congratulations. <laughs> class of 2018, yeah, we made it. <laughs> procrastination got sticky note okay so hello everyone I'm Audra Messenger so I might as well start off with this I am absolutely thrilled that the effort I put into school gave me this opportunity to do one of my least favorite things <laughs> trust me I am overjoyed the planets have aligned everything is right with the world it's like I'm living off of liquid luck <laughs> yeah no there is nothing good about this situation. <laughs> Anyone who has ever seen me give a presentation knows what's up. <laughs> but I'm still here. I'm still here to deliver these words to you, a speech you won't remember past tomorrow, if we're going to be honest. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to make this speech funny, but I know I'm not really capable of that. And, I, and I'm not inspiring, like, at all. I'm definitely not encouraging. Tell me your problems, and I'll be like, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I bet that warmed your heart. Before talking to the senior class, there are some people I need to address. There always seems to be thank you, so I might as well get mine out of the way. Dad, bear with the randomness. <laughs> thank you for practically any breakfast you make. <laughs> and perfectly pop popcorn every single time. I don't know how you do it. I like burn it two times out of three. <laughs> um, and this is kind of late, but whoa. Thank you for letting me follow you, follow you around when I was little, no matter how much of a hindrance I might have been. For letting me ride in the wheelbarrow, letting me believe I was helping you wash the car and pushing my feet on the swing set. Mom, thank you for reading to me before bed, introducing me to the world of sci-fi and fantasy and listening to me go on and on about K-dramas and K-pop. <laughs> Thank you for introducing me to one of my favorite movies while you were sleeping. I'll only accept someone who understands what leaning is. Trombones. <laughs> yeah, you guys were always asking for a speech, so for once in your lives, listen to what I have to say. It's probably one of the last things I'll say to many of you, so try to handle the difficult task. Due to the formal setting, it probably won't be the speech you were expecting, but I hope it will suffice. If we're going to be honest, I was more of an observer than an actual member of the section. I watched you do things you weren't supposed to do and things you weren't, and not do things you were supposed to do. And I said nothing, like usual. Of course, you also did well. You guys can be so amazing, and you have so much greatness within you. It may feel weird, but many of you are upperclassmen now. Please. Don't be pathetic like me. <laughs> Don't just think about speaking. Have a voice. <laughs> do your part and accomplish something. Be the upperclassman I never was. And everything you do, and this applies to all of us, have a little say in pride. And if you don't understand that comment, then why am I even talking to you? <laughs> there are still many challenges to come. And, and once again, referring to sayings, when you get knocked down, come back stronger than before. Let whatever legacy me and the other upperclassmen left behind live on. Uzma Kappa Gamma, Google Plus Sigmund Freud, forever. <laughs> Not too long ago, I went to a wedding anniversary. <laughs> People gathered from all over for it. Many of them had not seen each other for years. I had to drive six hours for it. Well, technically my dad, but yeah. <laughs> Tonight is the last night, so, night some of us will ever see each other again. We'll ever see each other. Some of us will see each other in a couple of months, for others, not for several years. No matter how soon or far off into the future it may be, let's all work to have something good to tell one another. There's going to be challenges in life. There's no questioning that. You aren't really living if it doesn't get difficult sometimes. But we all need that one good thing to make it all worth it. This isn't really about exchanging pleasantries in the future. I'm, I'm horrible at small talk and I hate it, so you can understand that. It's a reminder that what we do with our lives should be for the betterment of ourselves. Too often do we finally meet again because of loss. So let's meet again with joy and celebration. Whether it's family, work, or co conquering a personal demon, let's all accomplish something. So there's a show called Because This Is My First Life, and I'm only really expecting one or two people to know what I'm talking about. So there's this quote, going through this life is the first time for all of us anyway. It doesn't matter how old we get or how much we experience. The world will always be filled with unknowns. We will never experience life exactly like this again. Each moment is unlike any before. With each experience, there is something a little different, whether it is age or state of mind. Because of those differences, we will stumble. We will screw up, and sometimes we have to take that out. There's going to be mistakes, and there's going to be rejection. It's honestly going to suck sometimes, but we learn from failure. We can rise from the ashes and move forward a little wiser than before. We may not accomplish what we had planned, but we will succeed in our own way. And like Jiho said, to those living this moment with all my sincerity, I wish you all good luck because this is everyone's first life anyway. Thank you. Hello. How's everybody been, Durin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My name is Shalay Tyree, and I've always thought that the more successful you are, the more people you have to thank. Everything that I have achieved was made possible by the efforts of others, and the only reason I'm up here is because of them. 
So before I start, I'd like to thank all the people that made me being up here possible. Thank you to all the people who said I would never get first in our class. Although most of you didn't graduate anyway. <laughs> thank you, Candace, Cami, Audra, Clara, Haley, Kaylee, and Kiana for always having my back. Thank you to my family for supporting me and my future in-laws for creating my beautiful boyfriend. <laughs> Darren, thanks for being beautiful. <laughs> Thank you to Ms. Martin, Mr. Mack, Ms. Reynolds, and Mrs. Patterson for your guidance and your endless praises. Thank you to my Stuco members and my yearbook gals, even you, Braylon, for your undying, unwavering procrastination and love. To my speech and debate babes and Milton, you have become my second family and you always will be. You guys have really been my rock this year and I'll never be able to tell you how much I love you guys. So for the love of God, kill Ardmore next year and vote AF. I have to give a special shout out to the head babe, Mep. I owe you more than you will ever know. You taught me how to lie to the cops, but Seriously, I don't know who I would be without you. I would say speech changed my life, but it didn't really. It changed me. It gave me the ability to see, my, to spe see new perspectives, and I can never thank you enough. You do so much, and you work so hard, and you do not get enough credit for it. Thank you for making me a state champion for the abuse. <laughs> For their memory is all of it. I love you. To my mother, who I literally would not be here without, thank you. <laughs> you are so open and free-spirited, and I definitely got most of my personality from you. You've supported me through every situation I've ever had to face. Always gave me advice and money. <laughs> and you were always there to give me money. <laughs> and you did a lot of it by yourself, and I was given two parents in the form of one, and I, I wouldn't be who I am without you. Now to my class. When I came into high school, I was dumb, I was awkward, I had a boyfriend, and I had no idea who I was or what I wanted to be. I can proudly say after four years, I have a new boyfriend. <laughs> so much has changed. It was difficult writing a speech about our class because we're not all good at one specific thing. And I say that because we are all separately talented in different areas. We have students who are good leaders, athletic, artistic, intelligent, and not to brag, but I'm a part of that percentage that can watch Netflix for 12 hours without going to the bathroom. <laughs> Most of the time we look like lazy procrastinators. Case in point, I printed this speech out two hours ago. <laughs> we aren't perfect. But we all bring something to the table, when we have something that we have to do, or when we're having fun. I mean, we pulled that stagecation together pretty well. <laughs> and last minute. You all have potential. And you all matter. You are all important because you are part of our class. I can confidently say that 2018 represents Guyman High School, because we are a class united by our differences. Congratulations, class of 2018. We made it. Mr. Melton, Guyman School Board, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2018 as they have completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the State of Oklahoma Department of Education and Guyman School Board of Education for their diplomas. Cambrian Rochelle Acevedo. Kiana Ray Aguilar. Emily Alcocer Cárdenas. Buddy Alm. Jacqueline Arana. 
Stephanie Avalos Esquivel. Eric Freddy Ayala. Kyla Marie Baca. Bryce Aaron Bagley. Catherine Elizabeth Bayless. Peyton Thomas Bayless. Ethan Colt Beasley. Haley Noel Bainey. Alexis Michelle Bishop. Candace Ann Booth. Peyton Alexis Bowers. Xavier Alexander Bowers. Kevin Andres Breque. Janet Denise Calel. Jacqueline Campos. Evelyn Carrillo Vasquez. Taylor McKenzie Carter. Mireya Cases Llorens. Manuel Castro. Kendall Philip Cardell. Alondra Cerda. Jose Angel Cerda Barbosa. Vivian Edith Cereceres. Angie Rebecca Chaparro. Adriana Chavez Romero. William Alexander Chick. Aiden Philip Collins. Bailey Alice Connor. Jesus Antonio Covarrubias. Juan Vicente Covarrubias. Alexandria Brooke Curtis. Avery Don Curtis. Guide Pa D. Magali de Santiago. Jose Carmen Diaz Salamanca Jr. Benjamin Robert Duran. Shayla McKay Eastland. Mofti Refa El Hassan. Maribel Esquivel Mesta. Yasmin Esquivel Mesta. Mimishen Estrella. Isaac Elijah Evans. Annabelle Marie Fernandez. Aldo Figueroa Cerda. Daisy Figueroa. Emmanuel Figueroa. Laura Jocelyn Galvan Magallanes. 
Francisco García. Iván Gilberto García Lozoya. Mary Tadese Geber Christos. Karen Josie Godina. And Elisa Jean Gonzalez. Bellaneira Gonzalez. Elias Gonzalez. Zane Austin Gooding. Cesar Guerrero. Eric Guerrero. Verónica Amelia Barrera Gutierrez. Jonathan Guzmán. Estela Ja Ordóñez. Samson Haptegarigas. Mason James Hawkins. Macy Breck Hawthorne. Joshua Tanner Heckel. Marta Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. Fabian Hernandez. Odalis Lisset Hernandez. Ruby Guadalupe Hernandez. María Hidalgo. Sir Ed Tu. Brandon Eduardo Ruizar Galicia. Oswaldo Huizar. Jonathan Ibarra. Carla Yesenia Ibarra. Samantha Michelle Iglesias López. Mari Elisette Ichquier Grave. Kevin Alexander Hasso Quiñones. Abril Jauregui. Corby Joseph Jenkins. Lupita Jimenez. Tanner Daniel Jones. Henry Juarez. Katie Nicole Kaimeg. Darren Mitchell Lakely. Mackenzie Elizabeth Landis. Brittany Marie Lara. Kyle Matthew Larson. Christopher Leva. Priscilla Longoria. Alexis Lopez Guzman. Jose Elisandro Lopez Barbosa. Diego Rafael Lozano. Shayana Deja Lucero. Coy Byron Martin. Alexis Antoinette Martinez. 
Brianna Rochelle Martinez. Natalie Martinez. Coleman Lane Mathis. Alana Renee McLemore. Alexis Medina. Javier Medina. Ángel Antonio Mejía. Christian Daniel Mejía. Erika Itzel Meléndez. Jackie Renee Mendoza. Juanita Luisa Mendoza. Audra Glenn Messenger. Yesenia Mesta. Yoselin Mesta. Gabriel Ivan Mesa. Christian Eric Mijares. Ivan Molina. Juan Diego Montelongo. Verónica Lian Montoya. Alicia Morales Turquiz. Rosalind Morales. Yanis Morales. Noela Patricia Moreno. Leon Sian Za Muan. Christopher Muñoz. Ivan Esteban Muñoz. Álvaro Nájera Jr. Francisco Nicolás Sebastián. Jorge Luis Nolasco. Mary Anna Oblander. Ana Patricia Ortiz. Eric Christopher Padilla. Ernest Michael Padilla. Ta Mui Pa. Evan Alejandro Peña. Isaac Ivan Peralta. Jonathan Perez. Luis Carlos Rios. Jonathan Guzmán Pérez. Litsi Guadalupe Pérez. Bailey Christopher Pierce. Alex Ramirez. Davino Ramos. Gabriel Elise Ramos.
Kiara Ramos. Mayner Mateo Ramos. Sutton Jacob Redcorn. Anastasio Alejandro Reyes. Leonardo Rio Cerda. Amanda Marie Rodriguez. Lorena Rojo Osorio. Adriana Lisset Romero. Alan Roberto Romero Trillo. Alejandro Salamanca. Ana Luisa Salamanca. Miguel Ángel Salazar. Daisy Salcedo. Larisa Azucena Salina Cerda. Rachel Sánchez Delgado. Melissa Sánchez Hidalgo. Jacob Ryan Santos. Jared Lee Sappington. Tatum Mariah Sides. Victor Leroy Sigala. Donnie Smith. Isaiah Quinton Smith. Shay Lynn Smith. Rudy David Sosa Avina. Ariadna Coraima Soto Rodriguez. Joseph Michael Soto. Macario Soto. Noah Connor Takahashi. Sydney Aaron Taylor. Shalay Tyree. Ricardo Valenzuela. Aurora Guadalupe Vázquez. Marian Vega. Grayson Lee Wallace. Nathan Todd Watson. Robert James Williams, Jr. Snow Wynn. Clara Dawn Wirtz. Astrid Kaylee Fabiola Samudio Garcia. Janet Zarate.
Our seniors want to give a rose to one special person in their life. Would the graduating class please stand?